and we've seen America move toward decline and becoming a third world country with an economic collapse. On the good news side, we've seen much of our mission accomplished on solar education and solar promotion. Solar has not only become a household word these days, but it continues to grow at more than 50% annually, fueled in part by the Solar Living Institute's programs of, of training solar installers and salespeople. We've seen SUV sales tanking, we've seen hybrid car sales skyrocketing, electric vehicles getting new life, green building flourishing, energy efficiency becoming very common, and most of all, we've seen the consciousness of the world undergone a dramatic, undergo a dramatic shift to green, where we see green on every magazine, every television show, and we try to separate the true green from the green washing. Rather than hoisting the mission accomplished banner and congratulating ourselves that the world has finally come to its senses, we can see a much deeper problem at the root. With the first shipping routes across the soon to be melted North Pole being claimed, and with Greenland and Antarctica melting at alarming rates, with government calls common now for more oil drilling off our coasts, and with floods, fires, and hurricanes increasing wildly, with our entire species in far more jeopardy than ever before, it's time to kick our efforts here into high gear. We're facing a problem of a magnitude never before dreamed of, with all living systems now in decline. It's time to stop talking like we can solve this problem with compact fluorescent light bulbs and home recycling. It's time to start taking real action to prevent human extinction, which will surely come before the next seventh generations if we don't do something now. Yet we have the technology easily available to fix the problem. We can reduce 80% of our carbon footprint within 20 years by taking some fairly simple steps, by putting a PV system on the roof, solar hot water system on the roof, and by driving a hybrid or alternatively powered car, we can save 80%, we can reduce our footprint by 80%. If you come to the Code Red Global Warming Panel at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon, you'll learn a lot more about uh, what, what must be done. So as we come together on this piece of land to share our vision and share this weekend, look around and see the amazing group of people who have chosen to grace our site this weekend. We have cutting edge folks in solar, renewable energy, alternative transportation and fuels, green building, relocalization, food and farming, just about every aspect of solar living imaginable. So I know Lindsay told you a little bit about what the Solar Living Institute's all about, but for those of you who are, who are here for the first time, Solar Living Institute is a separate 501c3 from Real Goods, who owns the site. The Institute manages and nurtures the site and exists solely through the generosity of your donations and sponsorships. Our mission here is to provide inspirational environmental education, and besides SoulFest, which is our biggest fundraiser of the year, our other programs are sustainable living workshops, where we'll educate over 3,000 students this year in all aspects of renewable energy, green building, permaculture, alternative fuels. And this year's class attendance is way higher than ever before, reflecting what's going on in the marketplace. For the first time this year, we launched the free SolFest manufacturer trainings in, uh, in Ukiah with a professional training series, which was very successful. Uh, as Lindsay alluded to, we're on the brink of opening a satellite campus in Richmond, California. Uh, we